term. Uh, so you really need to talk about the agencies um, individually because what's happening is, is, is not the same at, at, at DOJ as, as, as at the FTC. Um, the, you know, generally the Biden administration has sort of made antitrust the centerpiece and they've announced that they're going to focus on a number of uh, key areas, healthcare, which is an old favorite, uh, oil and gas, also a favorite, and, and then tech and two-sided markets as well as uh, vertical mergers. Um, so you know, anything that touches on those, um, it touches any of those boxes is going to get a, a close look. They've also recently announced um, an interest in looking at non-competes that are used in connection with transactions to ensure that they're not overbroad and, and somehow restricting competition. There's also a, a, uh, um, you know, a lot of talk about broadening the aperture in terms of what the agencies want to focus on when they're looking at deals. Um, they're looking at labor market issues, whether transactions may reduce competition in the market for labor, looking at non-price effects um, and, and, and things of that nature, which means that when you're you know, doing a deal, you, need to, you really need to think hard and try to think outside the box. What, what, what hurdles might I be confronted with when the deal is filed and, and you start the HSR process? At the Department of Justice, um, as, as, as has been mentioned, um, Jonathan Cantor has been nominated. He's not yet confirmed. Uh, hopefully he'll be in, in, in place by the end of the year, but it, it, it's unclear. He, he doesn't yet have a hearing. Um, Jonathan is, is known well um, to many. Uh, he, you know, I actually hired him out of the FTC in 2000. He spent seven years at Freed Frank. Um, and and I, I think of Jonathan as, as, as a, a good friend and somebody that um, I, I respect. Uh, he, he appears before the agencies. He knows how they work. He was a staff lawyer at the FTC. And I think the antitrust division is, is anxious for him to, 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 to get on board. So hopefully that will happen soon. In the meantime, the, the, the department's being run by career officials. And I, I would say that, you know, and, and, and it's always risky to generalize, but as a general matter, it, it, it's mostly business as usual um, with the career officials. They are um, maybe a little more risk averse uh, because of this transitional phase. Um, uh, the good news is that, that the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, has a, a good understanding of antitrust and, 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 and a keen interest in it and is engaged. Um, so I, I view that all as a, as a plus. And, and the sooner Jonathan gets in and, and, and can um, start to roll out some of his policy priorities, um, uh, the better, because it's, it's going to be important to understand what those are when you're trying to plan a deal and, 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 and navigate some of the, you know, some, some of the risk. On the FTC side, uh, as, as folks have alluded to, there's been a lot of change, pretty, pretty massive change in a short amount of time. And it's, 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 it's made it challenging for all of us on the outside because we're trying to counsel clients, clients like predictability, nobody likes surprises. And, and, and because there's been so much change with the elimination of, of early termination by, by, by the Biden administration, there was a, a few days when COVID first hit, when ET was taken down, but then it went right back up within days. But, but it's now indefinitely suspended. Uh, uh, the, the ability to issue CIDs without a commission vote, that's new. Um, uh, you putting prior approval requirements and consent decrees. So that means the next time you do a deal, it's not, you need the approval of the agency, so they don't need to go to court and sue you. You need to get their approval. Uh, the warning letters that have been uh, referenced, um, there's some deals that have uh, gone through the process and, 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 and not been, um, not received a second request, but, but received a warning letter saying that we are continuing to investigate your deal. And, and so as a, as, as a seller, that's not necessarily a great concern. But if you're a buyer, you need to take that into account because you may end up with a consummated merger investigation. Uh, lots of changes to HSR interpretations in order to try to capture more, more filings. 
and, uh, and, and, and as Dina said, a lot more second request investigations with people, you know, so many that they're, they're grabbing resources from the Consumer Protection Bureau, uh, from policy uh, uh, shops and so on. So there are people that, that, you know, the international group is getting involved in merger investigations. So, 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 so this is probably the biggest change because it means that, that the timing to get a deal done um, you know, could be pretty significant and, and you need to take that into account when you're putting together your, 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 your uh, merger agreement. I just, um, it might be worth describing um, sort of what the significance is between FTC and DOJ. Now we've talked a lot about, a lot about the differences, but just, you know, I don't know everyone's background and just, just so people are aware, um, they both have authority to review M&A transactions. Um, and when, when you file under HSR, um, the agencies will get together and determine which agency will review your deal. To, and they typically will award deals to the agency that has the most experience in that um, particular sector. Um, you know, for example, oil and gas deals tend to go before the FTC. So it just it depends on um, the type of deal, which agency you're going to face, and it can make a big difference, as Barry was saying, in, in what kind of uh, process you're going to see. 